Hello dear Aries, welcome to Divine Debut. This is Kathy speaking. Thank you so much for being here for your mid-month of October of 2020. This is a general and love reading. Thank you for your patience. How you're holding out the Aries with your ruling planet Mars retrograde all this time. Do you feel as though you're putting in so much energy and not getting anything back? Are people coming back from the past as we're also in Mercury retrograde right now? There is so much going on, dear Aries. How are you holding out? Just wondering. I know it's 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 not easy at all. Let's take this card. I know that it is not easy at all, dear Aries. At this time, October and November, very challenging months for the whole world. Two of Wands, you're inside, you're stuck, you're locked down. You're hoping to go on a journey, you're wanting to move towards your desires and it's telling you that the door is closed. Obviously with your ruling planet, it's a time of redoing old, old um, situations, dealing with old things, things that you've started in the past rather than new things. And the way she's staring out the window, it's as though she's expecting someone or something to come through. It's something that she desires, something that she needs to make her happy, to light up her soul. What's at the foundation, please, Spirit, for Aries? We have the Seven of Swords. In the recent past, we have the Queen of Swords. So Aquarius, Gemini or Libra, this is usually my Libra card. Aries, Libra is obviously the sign opposite you. So this is your relationships. What's on your mind? You've got the Eight of Cups. So you have severed ties. You have severed ties. You have cut contact. You are moving towards your calling. As you can see, she's moving towards the sun. So she's moving towards something that will bring her the healing. She's looking for those Two of Cups, which she could not find. Okay, she could not come, this connection could not come through for her. And for whatever reason, there was an imbalance here as someone tried to get away with something. The Seven of Swords, remember, is the card of stealth. It's the thief. Maybe you're dealing with someone that had to make a choice. And maybe you had to make a choice as well. Let's see what the outcome is. And we have the Five of Wands. So it's as though you're speaking you're trying to work together but not speaking the same language. You're not on the same page. Fives always come through where change is concerned, right? This could also be a group effort. If this is something that you're hoping to create, because there's a lot of creative energies here, and you're trying to be intelligent, you're trying to manifest something, but the thing is that you are standing strong in your integrity. And whoever has not been standing strong in their integrity, then you're not on the same page. Changes need to happen. What's at the bottom? We've got the Four of Swords. It's a, it's a time of taking a break. You've been heartbroken. This comes after the three. Your heart has been put on hold, as you can see here. So you're the wounded warrior right now. But with your retrograde Mars, your ruling planet, this is a time of working through these issues. So much worry with the Nine of Swords. This is a lot of stress, a lot of thought. There's 13 swords here, which is all about Scorpio, things that are hidden. Mercury is retrograding in Scorpio. And it will be entering your seventh house very soon. And we've got the Knight of Wands. So have you been dealing with someone that was a bit of a player because the Knight of Wands is someone that's driven by their passion. Knight of Wands is Sagittarian, so you could be dealing with someone that is at a distance, physical distance. Some of you, yes. For others of you, this is someone that uh, moves a lot for work. Let's see what's going on in love for Aries, please, Spirit. This is the Whispers of Love Oracle for Aries. Second half of October of 2020, please, Spirit. What's going on for Aries? Please give me a card, a message. 
for Aries? What's going on for Aries at this time? And all those energies in Capricorn are squaring you, dear Aries. So your life is being uh, challenged to change. You need to change fundamentally. Let's take two cards that were calling me. And we have Speak the Language of Love, number 35. Loving words have the power to change someone's life, including your own. And this is a Gemini energy, which means a choice for me. Now, Gemini is also where the North Node is, and that's your calling. That's where we're heading towards. This could also mean that someone is making a decision between two people. Gemini is your, your um, close environment as well. It's also the house of collaboration. Using words of love, remember Aries, and I know it can be very frustrating for you at this time. Now, number eight does speak of Scorpio. It's the house of Scorpio, but it's also Leo, and Leo can have strong ego. There needs to be trust. There needs to be um, love for this to uh, come to pass. We've got a 38, which equals an 11. 11 is also justice, Libra, which is your house of partnership. Honesty is essential. To be a loving person, it is important that we speak truthfully and in a loving manner. So there is going to be a conversation, a truthful conversation. The masks will come off as there is a major decision that you're needing to make, I believe, with the Four of Swords. The Four of Swords is the warrior that's been heartbroken. They are searching for the answers. They're soul searching and they will take that Ace of Swords and sever ties with their past or speak their truth. Nine of Swords. Knight of Wands. Wow. Beneath the Knight of Wands is the Two of Cups. The Two of Cups, which is a soulmate connection, again, to people that could be from different areas of the world, different upbringing, different religion. And we've got the Hanging Man, which is the ending of a karmic cycle or the need to sacrifice or the need to clear up the confusion because beneath that is the Nine of Cups. So you've had, wow, you've had some sort of a wish fulfillment in the past, but you're dealing with devil energies, the devil energies, which is karma. It's all about karma here. And we have the Nine of Pentacles beneath that, which is Virgo energy. So there is some, someone that you are very attracted to. We've got the Nine of Cups. I think the, I can't remember which card was, I think the devil was here. You are very attracted to someone that is very slow moving. They're going to come in when it's time. It's all about timing. You need to surrender right now as there is a major cycle closing up. And you've got the Two of Cups. This is a soulmate connection which stems to the past. As the further back we go, the further back in the past. And the Knight of Wands is someone that wants what they desire. They want to create. But there has been a lot of worry and heartbreak. Maybe someone's been really slow in coming through. Let's look at how does the astrology affect Aries. How does the astrology at this time affect you, Aries? Let's take our two cards want to come through, Aries. Let's have a look. We've got 12th house and escape. Wow. Some of you are trying to escape a situation that's been really harsh. This turns into a nine. A nine is also the hermit. Some of you are being the hermit. As this is, the 12th house is the natural house of Pisces. So remember, you are using other forms of escapism. Now, you did have the devil, so I hope that it's not anything to do with medicines or um, drinking, could be binging, okay, as there is a sense of trying to escape a situation or trying to end a major cycle in your life where you need to surrender. Yes, you need to surrender and know that the energies are so powerful, okay. Spirit will take you to where your destination is, Aries. You need to believe that. And it's a time now of not pushing forward, more so taking a step back. 
We've got self note and life's debts. It's a time to release past karma. And this is a 42, which equals a 6. It's a time of release. Okay, releasing anything that was unhealthy for you. And remember that the south node is in Sagittarius, which means leaving, releasing old outworn beliefs, anything to do with limitations, what is limiting you, what is holding you back. There is some form of karma that you will be releasing. And it seems as though you're, you or someone else is needing to pay life's debts as this is a karmic situation which is asking for something, okay? And I feel that because I do feel it's the other person, mainly the Aries, okay? There's a lot of shedding of old, outworn ideas. There can be some of that for you as well as you are going through endings. Let's see what, what else is going on. What's going on with the moon here? The moonology oracle. So how does the moon affect you emotionally? Your subconscious, your unconscious. You know, the Four of Swords does say that you may be needing a lot of rest at this time as you may feel no energy, lack of energy with Mars retrograde. It's a time of, um, wow, we've got one card. I want to take one more card. It's a time of releasing, releasing, shedding the old, moving into the new. Aries, please, and we have another card, two cards, okay. And we have three cards, wow, okay. You and your loved ones are safe, new moon in Cancer, new beginning. So we've got Cancer here, right? And you are in a square to Cancer as well, so that's a bit of a challenge. So whatever is going on, at home, at your home is a bit of a challenge at this time. So your your emotional, um, physical security, you've been feeling unsafe, but there is a new beginning here. A new home, this could be a new love, a new nurturing that will be provided to you. We have the energies gaining momentum, waxing moon. So something is growing. Okay, you are gaining momentum even though you feel nothing is moving. Let's see. We also have a time to give rather than take. New moon in Virgo. Providing a service. Virgo we have here as well. New moon, new beginning. So provide something to someone else. Be of service to someone else. And therefore that's you will be um, giving and obviously releasing any any sort of debts that you owed through providing a service. Now, I'm not saying that this is you. This could be the other person as well. And we have show the world the real you, full moon in Aquarius. And a full moon in Aquarius is an ending. It's a culmination. Aquarius is all about truth. It's all about the future. So the full moon does reflect the sunlight and therefore you could see things that have been hidden, okay? This is also you showing your true self. So we've also got the Aquarian energy here, and Aquarius is also ruled by Saturn. You did have the devil there. So let's see. Remember that Aquarius is also the house of wish fulfillment. It's also the money house after hard work. So let's go see and what's going on with that Two of Wands. Why is she on the inside looking out? We've got the Ten of Cups. Interesting. So what this says to me is the decision that you have made will get you to the Ten of Cups. For those of you that did not get to the Ten of Cups, you are deciding, you are leaving that and moving elsewhere. Let's see, because you've got the Eight of Cups here, remember, you had the Two of Cups as well. So it's all about the decision that you're making and once you are free to move because there are limitations here, you've got the possibility to move into the Ten of Cups, which Ten of Cups is, is it's the happiest card, one of the happiest cards in the Tarot. Let's see what else. And we've got the Six of Cups. So this is a soulmate connection. Again, this is a card of trust, a card of childlike energies, 
that you've got 16 cups here and 16 is the tower so there may be an epiphany that's coming through an epiphany that's coming through where which uh, the epiphany of Uranus in Taurus and Uranus is ruled by it rules Aquarius this is your second house of values self-worth money it's also a money house so this is uh, whatever revelation comes through whatever epiphany whatever you uh, whatever newness you're bringing into your life through a decision that's being made I do feel that it's going to bring you into happiness. Let's have a look at this Seven of Swords, which is at the foundation in the distant past. We have the Page of Pentacles and the Ten of Swords. So someone, and this is Aquarian energy, we've got 17 swords, 17 swords here. So someone was not standing in their truth. You may have been back and forth messaging in the distant past, in the past, but the seed that was planted was not a healthy seed, as we've got the Ten of Swords. Whatever someone tried to steal from you, okay, or whatever information someone did not share with you, this felt for you felt as though this was the end. Okay, there is a lot of darkness in this card. Remember, there's deception. Now we've also got Earth here, Page of Pentacles, could be another Earth sign. But I'm going to say that I feel that this seed that, that has been planted, I said it wasn't a healthy seed, right? I do feel that because the energy of Aquarius, remember the Aquarius is depicted by the star, and the star is a card of healing, a card of the future, and a card of hope your hope for a wish fulfillment, or the star is something at a distance, could be at a time distance, a distance of time, or a distance of a physical distance for others of you. So let's see, it looks as though your wish fulfillment was left in the past. Let's see what this Queen of Swords is, because she's in the recent past, and I feel that this is your energy. Okay, and remember that the Queen of Swords, she speaks very just, very truthfully. She is someone that's been through hardship and hurt. And we've got the Hanging Man here. Let's take another card. And I feel that this is clarity after the confusion. Because the Hanging Man is Pisces and that's confusion. And we've got another two, so the Two of Swords. Remember that we've now we've got three swords here. So the Queen of Swords holds the third sword. So in the recent past, there has been a tough decision that you've had to make. I feel that the decision that you've had to make in the now, that you're making in the now, is you creating something because you're holding the Ace of Wands, remember. Whatever decision you go for and whatever you desire, you are creating something. Let's see what that Eight of Cups is. We've got the Eight of Swords. So this card has shown up for practically all the signs. This is a self-imposed prison. And we've got the Page of Wands, which again has shown up for all the signs. And this is Aries Energy. It's Mars Retrograde, everyone. You are risking moving towards your heart's desire. You are overcoming fear. And you're willing to take a risk. Now, this could also be a message that comes through from someone of the past that's going to make you really happy as... The other person is now ready to make, to take a risk on this connection. And we've got the four here. And this is the major arcana of the page of wands. And the four is a brand new cycle. Let's take another card. And this is your energy. You're on a brand new cycle. You are ready to move into that new adventure. And we've got the king of pentacles, which is Taurus. For me, it could be any other earth sign. King of Pentacles is someone that you can depend on. King of Pentacles is, could be a father for some of you, or this is someone that is, that's going to be there. This is someone that is in a position of um, readiness, ready for family. King of Pentacles could also be a father already. 
for all those of you. What is at the, at the bottom? We've got the Two of Cups again. Well, this is crazy because this is the position that the Two of Cups has shown up for many signs at the bottom of the deck. So it's all about relationships. This soulmate connection is here and it's not going anywhere. And it's time for you, when you are called to, you will take your desire and you will fight with it. You will take your magic wand and you will create. As yes, there are naysayers. This is like the challenge that you're up against, but you've got the higher ground, the Aries, and the magician. This could be truthful communication. Information that was not communicated in the past, truthfully, will be coming to pass. Let's take a card on this Four of Swords. And we have the Queen of Wands. And this is you. Obviously, you've got the magic in your hands. Remember that wand. You've got luck on your side as well. You are very creative and you've got luck there with you. And with, But it comes with a lot of worry. Remember 13 Swords. And I do feel you need to come through the time of... Mercury retrograding through Scorpio, then coming back into your house of partnership, that's when things are going to start moving forward. So patience, I know it's hard, it's frustrating, but there is karmic, um, a karmic purge that you're going through, okay? And you're coming into balance. Remember the 42 turns into a 6. You're at the 9, 9 is Virgo. I want to take one more card on that Nine of Swords. And we have the Nine of Cups. There we go again. Nine of Cups, Nine of Swords. You are the Hermit right now, dear Aries. And it's not, and the Hermit is Virgo again. So some of you have got strong Virgo. Could be your North Node. Could be a Virgo person you're dealing with. So, dear Aries. the changes that are coming through. You need to speak honestly because there is confusion here with the Five of Wands. And once the clarity comes through, once the understanding is here and you speak from a place of love, things will be shown to you and you will be able to reach the Six of Wands. Remember that is one step before the Victory card. The King of Pentacles. Look at how laid back he is. He's smiling here which is, I, I don't know why, but I feel that because you are fire, you are dealing with an earth sign more than likely. Um, remember, we've got new moon in Virgo, new moon in Cancer, full moon in Aquarius. Something is building momentum here. But I do feel that you're coming into a wish fulfillment after a lot of worry. You've got the Eight of Cups, Nine of Cups, Ten of Cups. The Ace of Cups was in the reverse, remember. It's all about turning turning over a new leaf, moving towards what your soul's desire is and working through these energies. As I'm sure you're going to have a major epiphany with a tower moment that's going to make you very happy because we've got the Six of Cups and the Ten of Cups here. Wow. Let's take a Gaia Oracle for Aries, Blue Spirit. Please guide me for Aries. Aries, please, Spirit. Aries. What's going on with Aries? What is the message for Aries? Mid October 2020. Aries, please, Spirit. Aries. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, and North Node. We've got three cards, dear Aries. We have eight, Apprehension, number 18. It's all about fears. Moving out into the world, doubt and fear. So this does it also equal a nine as it is the moon energy, it's number 18, things that have been hidden. Eternal love, 24. 24 is number 6, Gemini and the lovers. 
happiness, harmony and fulfillment. And there is the sun. The sun comes through after the darkness. And we have nine of hearts, your wish fulfillment. Fulfillment, harmony and protection. And this is a ten, which means this is the end of suffering. And this, because I do see it as a, it's a tree of, you know, the family tree. It's something that's building, um, it's growing roots. You're building on something long-term, no, no doubt. And if this is love, because eternal love, yes, it can speak of true love. Now, it doesn't have to only be a romantic love. This could be a family situation, right? This could be a family situation where you're trying to build on something, but you're not on the same page, okay? But I do feel that through love, there is a brand new cycle, the Aries, and the fool is someone that's willing to take a risk to go on that journey. And remember that the King of Pentacles is someone very dependable. He holds that Ace of Pentacles. So whatever you're working on, whatever you're willing to take a risk on, it's going to be long term. Okay. And there is a lot of prosperity with this King of Pentacles, obviously. A lot of prosperity. So... I think I will leave it there. I did leave you to la till last this time because I always start off with Aries and it's not fair on the others, on, you know, the last signs of the Zodiac. So thank you for your patience. Thank you for your trust. I do hope everything goes really well for you. I hope that um, you get through these energies as easily as possible. Um, it is a growth spurt that you're going through. A lot of people are. And know that you are not alone in this world. We're all going through growth spurts right now. Some people a bit more than others. But know that um, spirit is there guiding you. As you are closing up a major karmic chapter in your life. And you will be reborn. Okay. There is a sense of rebirth here. Alright my loves. Thank you so much. Talk to you soon.